Well, what's up again there, guys? Brian here at 3 Chart, and welcome to another awesome episode of my weekly Q&A show, Top People's Questions, where I answer all the awesome questions that you guys have sent me over the past week. Just before I begin with this very basic set of questions from all regulars, I would just like to let you know that if you actually did send in a second or third question, be sure to check the comments in the previous video to see if I've answered them there, since I'm only answering one question per person. And jumping right into the first question coming from Matthew Vader, and you want to know, what is my favorite quote from a DC or Marvel superhero? Um, uh, I guess Batman when he says, I'm Batman, not sure if that's a quote, but, you know, I hear so many people use it, so I guess I'll go with that. The next question comes from Santico Scarpino, and you want to know, if I could rank the God of War games, how would I do it? You know what, I'll do you an even bigger favor than answer that question. I'll do a whole video about that. So, uh, after I get my Uncharted ranking video, I'll be sure to do a one for God of War. So, check out uh, probably later this week for that video. Next question comes from Goosh Monster. Hope I say that right because I'm also very uncomfortable with saying that at times. And you want to know, what mic and editing software do I use? Well, in terms of the mic that I use, I uh, when I do my uh, versus matchups, when I do my game reviews, I use a blue snowball microphone, uh, the USB type. Uh, in terms of editing software, I actually use Sony Vegas Pro Student Movie Studio, I believe it's called. Hang on, I, th I know I got it here somewhere. But it's, uh, it's, I don't know, it's around here somewhere. It's a box. But that's pretty much what I use. I pretty much use a Sony Vegas uh, Platinum Edition. So those are the two things I use. Next question comes from Ace Arcade, and you want to know, do I plan on getting the PlayStation 4.5 or PlayStation Neo? Not really. I mean, I pretty much compare this to what the Slim was. I mean, okay, so it's a slightly more powerful system than the PlayStation 4. Heck, I got three PlayStation 4s. They all work fine, uh, so unless they start making games exclusively for it, which I think would be stupid at this point, I see no reason to buy a uh, PlayStation 4.5 or PlayStation Neo. Next question comes from Dr. Hino419. You want to know, if I were a god, what would I do? Solve world hunger, I guess. I don't know. Next question comes from Glenn Gashard, and you want to know, do I have any tips for beating Colonel Volgan? Are you serious? You're... You're... You're having trouble with Volgan. Buddy, you... If, if you've just gotten to Volgan, you've beaten at least four different bosses that are way harder than him. But if you really need help, here's, here's the trick. If you have a shotgun or a heavy powered machine gun, this is what you do. First you shoot at him to get a shield up, and then when he starts to do his electricity thing, just detach the gun, because it only attracts to you if you're carrying a metal weapon. And then when he does that, when he's burnt all of his energy, he has to run over to a little power charger, and then when he's not looking, you shoot him in the back. If you have a shotgun, you only do that like three or four times, and trust me, he goes down pretty fast. So. Wow, I mean, if you think Volgan's hard, wow, I can't wait to see how you handle the boss. Next question comes from Phil Chuck Marks, and you want to know, did I ever get a chance to play the nightmare scene in minigame in Metal Gear Solid called Guy Savage? Uh, no, I was not actually aware of that. Um, and maybe when I get time, I looked it up on YouTube, but uh, I, I, wasn't I, I wasn't aware there was a minigame like that, so no. The next question comes from JDS Forcing Science 16. You want to know, did I like the trailer for the up and coming Assassin's Creed movie? I mean, it's a trailer. It looks harmless. It looks like it'll be okay. I mean, all, all I ask is this The Assassin's Creed games have gotten so convoluted that they're almost impossible to follow and connect. So if this Assassin's Creed movie can just be entertaining and tell a simple story that anyone can follow, whether you're a fan of the games or not, I'll give it praise and give it a good review. But if it tries to be as convoluted as the games have become, then it is going to fail. Because if the fans cannot even follow this game series, what chance are moviegoers who aren't fans of this franchise going to be like? The next question comes from Karen Kenobi, and you want to know, if I wanted to pick between two comic book series to become films, what would I choose? The Old Man Logan series or The Dark Knight Returns? Uh, well, Karen, uh, technically speaking, uh, we've already, we're doing both of those right now. We just did the Dark Knight, Re Dark Knight Returns with uh, Batman vs. Superman, and uh, it was kind of a bit of a disaster and a complete mess. And in terms of Old Man Logan, 
uh, they've already confirmed that the next Wolverine movie is going to be an Old Man Logan movie. So, I can't really pick which one to do because one's already been done and they're currently filming Old Man Logan. So, yeah. And the last question of the episode comes from Kay Carrot and you want to know, should Lucas have kept the Force a mystery? Okay, so you're talking about the whole midi chlorin thing. I actually didn't mind uh, that they explained the Force in a logical sense. A lot of people really hate that. But I think it makes sense if you understand exactly how certain people can use Force and why certain people can't. For those of you who don't know, just a quick explanation. midi chlorines are pretty much, you could say, the IQ of any living being, which pretty much allows you to be either a force user or, or force sensitive or not. If you have enough midichlorians in your system, then you can actually sense the force. If not, then you can't. And depending on how high your midichlorian count is, it kind of determines what type of Jedi you can be or what is best for you or what your training should be. A lot of people are, are under the notion that when you are a Jedi, you are just a Jedi. But what people don't know is that there are multiple different types of Jedi. Uh, that have different types of skills. There are Jedi that aren't really powerful with the Force, so they have to focus on their lightsaber skills. There are some that are extremely powerful and have a very high sense of the Force, and therefore they spend more of their time focusing on their Force abilities rather than their lightsaber skills. And there are some that are best used to be Jedi counselors. There are some that are best to be seers who can actually see the Force and see the future. So the type of midi chlorine count that you have helps determine what type of Jedi that is best for you to be. And that's why I was never angry with the explanation. And if you read the Darth Plagueis book, which is an incredible book, I, I absolutely imply you read it, uh, that goes very much into depth in the importance of what the midi chlorine's purpose in the Force actually is. So, uh, no, I was actually quite happy that uh, George Lucas went out of his way to bring a logical sense to the Force So I, I personally don't mind. I know a lot of people hate it, and I know that J.J. Abrams doesn't want it mentioned ever again, but personally, I, I acknowledge it, I accept it, and it's never bothered me. And with that, those are all the questions that you have all sent me this time. I'd like to thank all of you guys for making this episode possible. If you guys have any more questions that you'd like me to answer in the next episode, be sure to type them in the comments down below. Make sure you keep it only one question per person. And like always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. And I will see you next time.